Hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to unbox the site The Rise of Fenris. Now, uh, I will. Pr there is a story in this game, so you should probably not watch this video if you don't want things spoiled for you. I myself will probably never play through this story and it's, it's a semi-legacy game. So you are you unlock through each game you unlock some new stuff for the base game and then you can mix and match whatever you want to all whatever you want to do with all these modules and everything. So I already know what's inside. I spoil it for myself because I know I don't have time to play nine, eight, nine games. Not sure how much eight episode is in here. So I will unbox it and show it everything you get in this game and tell you a bit about every module, at least what I think it is about. I'm not really sure because I haven't played it yet. It's still sealed. So let's get down to the table and see what's inside this box. Okay, so let's unbox this little thing and see what do we get inside. Now, I'm really expecting so much of these expansions to tell you right from the start. And I warn you one more time, spoiler alert, don't go any further if you don't want to get things spoiled for you. First of all, what we see here, oh, we got some new shiny dice. That's really looking cool. And then we have these weird very weird but i presume this is a story and how everything works throughout the game wow just awesome little looking awesome it's kind of stuck over here i hope it doesn't tear apart but overall we got some rules over here and then you get some achievement sheet again for the stuff to fill in which is really cool i this is something every game should have even though i don't fill mine out i don't know why but this is the thing every game should have it's just funny to track stuff like this and then we have a bunch of ziploc bags so we can pack up everything and we have some score sheets or i think this is to track your progress throughout the yeah it has victories who won and all that and then we have a bunch of tokens, some new abilities for factions and alliance tokens or whatever they are. I mean, it tells you what each of these are. And then we have these uh, new tracks for achievements. Now this one is called Peace because there's uh, you can uh, do two of your quests and stuff like that. And there are no wars or, or winning like for going in a war with each other and everything but on the other side there is a war track as you can see over here and over here you can see that you have like four spaces for achieving victory in a war against another player so that's really nice module that i really think it will change the game the way you want to change it if you were previously oh my god i want to fight some more now you can and we have uh, some these are i think uh, powers that you can change your own powers mech mods yes it's called mech mods so we have a bunch of different mech mods and so you can there are some repeating not everything is unique and different and then we have what is this instruct infrastructure modes so we can do infrastructures and stuff like that with Rusviet Mac ability for episodes 3 and 5, if you want to play episodes 3 and 5, your Rusviet will get this for whatever reason. And we get some new factions. So we have Ves Vesna faction. Vesna is actually a girl's name in Croatia. Very interesting. Okay, so we have Vesna faction. They have some fox like abilities and like some nice steel color. Definitely nice looking steel color and a bunch of different tokens and whatnot and then we have Fenris faction the rise of Fenris and they have like this grayish 
orange grayish combination and you get their power dials wow that's really nice that's really really nice and then you have these single triumph tiles that you can use each episode whatever you want each game i think you can i'm not really sure as i never played it before and then let's take a closer look what's in the boxes let's start with the box a and we will presume that we have max over here for the Vesna faction and indeed it is everything for the Vesna faction is here now we get this ship and it's really nice looking color I like the, this color this teal color is awesome so we get all these wooden tokens that you get for each race and then you get these mechanical wolf and this girl I mean this miniature looks really nice I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and show it to you a little bit closer. Let me try to zoom up a bit. It's looking really nice miniature. I like how it looks. And of course we have new mechs that look really weird. If you ask me, like they're really stretched and so thin for, for, from the other mechs that come in the base game and the expansion. But overall that's that then underneath here we have some tokens power dials for the vesna faction okay so that is that so let's continue with the b uh, b the, the rise of fenris now in here what we have are some orange workers which i presume are from the fenris faction let me zoom back down here so we have these workers for the Fenris and let's see what we have else okay let's go to the C we are going to do this alphabetically but I presume you are unlocking it yeah you are just unlocking it one by one components for the Fenris faction and <laughs> now you know how I just told you that those are stretched and uh, very thin max now check this fenris one just for the comparison let me take out one of these just for the comparison check out how big it is and how thin and tall it is i mean they look really weird and they will probably look great on a map let me show it to you a, a bit closer really cool looking miniature now you only get one in this box i presume you unlock others in this big box but let's go through it and see what do we have see I, it was c now it is d okay so we get here everything for the rise of fenris faction and as you can see let's zoom out really quickly this is the fenris I presume and it has some owl or something on his hand and I must say these miniatures look more much more detailed than the ones from the base game look like the people worked more on these I should paint this one day probably and we also have a ship that looks like every other ship in of each faction and of course I'll show you one more time the max that you get let me just try and work with the zoom a little bit okay yeah they are really tall I check this out this this looks funny how how big they are it will be probably very cool to play with them and underneath here you got some ah, some extra uh, extra stuff that you ha need to have to play the base game and all that and of course one last box is the e box let me just bring back the zoom and in e box you get this cool cool miniature i think it's tesla but i'm not really sure but this is the miniature that if you know that card with the guy driving this contraption whatever it is it's one wheel bike or whatever and it looks really cool let me show it to you a bit closer you, des you deserve to see it closer ah, okay come on zoom zoom okay 
so yeah really nice looking miniature love how it looks love it okay and that's that that's everything that comes with this expansion okay so that was sight the rise of fenris and from everything i saw i must say this is the first expansion you have to buy and then you go and buy other expansions now this is this is this is phenomenal everything that sight needed if sight needed anything is in this box is in this little box i mean two new factions which i was completely blown away when i saw that we will get two new factions and then you get uh, you get some those tokens that can change what your mechs are actually capable of doing like for example you don't need plus one move you want them to move over some other rivers or stuff like that you can do that with that expansion you can completely change that victory track to where you are putting your stars what do you want to do then you can single-handedly change every game to be completely different i mean it's just phenomenal how everything works and 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 I mean, I presume how everything works because I didn't play it, but from what I saw, I cannot wait to play each of these modules together separately. And when you think of it, compare, uh, when you combine all of that with those ships and their modules and expansions and their, their stuff like you can only play for 20 turns and you put all attacks and you just attack each other, you can completely create a game like that now. Sight is, is basically became a sandbox game with this expansion. You can do whatever you want in a game. It, it's just phenomenal what what uh, this game what this expansion brings and if i'm not mistaken this is the last expansion for the game but definitely definitely something if you like sight this is something you should definitely own and i don't know what to tell you anymore just go and get it because everything looks so awesome in it and uh, stone my games did it again one more time okay so that's that <laughs> i recommend this wholeheartedly wholeheartedly you see i'm even using the words i don't know so go check it out and until next time pozdrav this video was brought to you by filibertnet.com the game in all its states